Hello Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to this week's readings with me. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. So let's get started for the general readings. And it begins with a wonderful energy, my dear Aries. The energy of clarification, the energy of light, the energy of wisdom. This is what is coming at the beginning of the week. If you have been wondering which path to follow, uh, everything appeared a bit obscure and dark, then at this point of time, at the beginning of the week, you will see the light shining upon a path which you have to follow at this point of time, my dear Aries. And I also see that um, whatever is related to your work, your sentimental life, I have seen that there's ha there has been some kind of confusions, my dear Aries, for you. But now, at the beginning of the week, you are going to start to see the light across the dark tunnel this is what i'm seeing so it is a wonderful energy use your wisdom to um, walk that path and to reach to where you have decided to reach my dear aries and also i am seeing that you will find the proper support the proper guidance at this point of time to you know um, how do you say traverse um in english <laughs> wow well, um, to overcome those obstacles, okay? I didn't find the exact word, but I am using the synonym, most probably, um, not really. Yeah, <laughs> to overcome the obstacles, my dear Aries, okay? So it's a wonderful energy. Money-wise, also, things are going to start looking up at the beginning of the week. And sentimentally, also, the light is going to be shed upon the path wherein you were feeling a bit confused, and not understanding if what should I do regarding my sentimental life. If you were in that confusion, then things are opening up over here. There is a light coming in. And for students, especially if you were confused regarding your study matters and which stream to choose, then at the beginning of the week, my dear Aries students, things are going to start getting clear for you, right? Then we go to the midweek. Now, midweek is telling you that my dear Aries, you are being provided a lot of resources, lot of strength to overcome hurdles on your path, to overcome any kind of challenge. If you have been feeling stuck, then now things are going to get sorted out. You are being going to given, you are going to be given strength, my dear Aries, in order to overcome everything. And I think Aries are just going to walk uh, out of a situation without being touched. Like, you know, like, for example, you know, in those movies, they show that things are falling here and there and the hero or the uh, or the leading lady, she just walks uh, unhurt. And this is what Aries is going to happen for you also. Things will be falling here and there, but then, okay, fine. I don't care. And you are just walking because you are going to be um, protected. You are going to be divinely protected and those resources are coming from the divine to you so use them uh, don't abuse them but i would say use them to your advantage in order to sort out certain things which are still stagnating uh, at this point of time that you have left certain things stagnating for very long now they need to be addressed and the midweek will be a good time because as you will have all the strength and resources you will be able to manage it very well my dear aries okay and then come the end of the week and that is a wonderful news regarding money matters because some of the Aries are going to get a lump sum amount. Hmm? Yes, congratulations. Some of you are going to get a lump sum amount, a fairly good amount. This is what I'm seeing for some Aries. This amount can come into you um, through uh, your, you know, selling of some kind of a property. Uh, it can be selling of some uh, some assets, you know, immovable assets that you are selling and you are getting this money. Some of the Aries are going to invest a lot of money into a particular project. Like, for example, it can be for buying a house or buying a car or, uh, you know, buying new furnitures or redoing your house. Or for some of you, it will be for studies also, further studies also you are investing. So the last days of the week are seen about investments and uh, they are announcing good news regarding money a good return on investments also is seen at the end of the week 
while some of you it will be also a sudden expenditure that can come up so it's like you're receiving money but then there is a sudden expenditure so you have to spend some money also over there so this kind of things can also happen while some of you might get a job offer or opportunity which can pay you very well uh, this is what is seen also my dear Aries and also I would like to tell you is that if you are getting this amount that I said the fairly good amount I would like to tell you is that really put half of it in the savings uh, I'm telling you this because I know why I'm telling you this is half of the money you just put it in the savings and the rest of of it you do what you want with it all right my dear Aries and then when I'm uh, seeing these energies there's a fire energy there is the you know the sword energy here for you then there is a money energy also and the word that is coming to me for you all is water Wow, <laughs> I don't know, water. <laughs> Normally I should be saying snow because it's really cold outside. Uh, but the word that comes to me for you is water. So basically as we all know that water is life and life is water, right? We came from water and we will become water. Everything inside of us is water. Like it's more than 70% we are water, right? And when our soul goes it's also in the form of a vapor it's also water yeah that state uh, that it goes into so the thing i would like to tell you my dear aries is that have you been feeling a bit tired lately uh, say mentally tired or physically or spiritually tired because what i would like to say that there is some connection of this water with your tiredness so most probably you have been dehydrated inside of you so my suggestion to you would be start drinking more water uh, if if it's very difficult to just drink water then you know you add some kind of uh, for example you can add mint leaves in it and you know fill up your bottle with mint leaves and water or for ladies especially you can put uh, coriander balls and uh, a bit of cumin seeds you know to make that water and then you sieve it and then you drink it it's also good for your hormonal balance also my dear lady aries okay uh, that's really really good and otherwise you can put some kind of fruits like uh, some you know you cut an apple and just put uh, in your water and then you just get the taste of that apple inside your water so it becomes your fruity water also or your herbal water also that you can have but keep yourself hydrated my dear aries i feel like telling you keep yourself hydrated because this water energy because you're fire right so this fire energy is so much there inside of you that the water energy is going to be required to balance that fire energy inside of you because if you don't do that then you can have uh, you know some kind of stress anxiety uh, ulcers uh, intestinal problem digestive problems so you need to take care of that and also if this word is coming and flashing inside inside of my mind that means what is that you also need to take care of the water you drink is it pure water is it contaminated water because something with water can take place in the coming months so be careful about that be it, let it be boiled or filtered water okay uh, always filter your water because you know so many things pass through water so make sure that your water that you are drinking is also the good quality water that you're drinking what are, what is the content of you know certain chemicals elements in it you need to know that so thank you my dear aries for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you next time until then take good care of yourself and drink lots of water <laughs> bye bye god bless bye